Next, we have uh, Carolyn talking to Brandy Baybutt. Brandy Baybutt is a choreographer and dance teacher who creates and performs regularly in Victoria. She is a graduate from the School of Toronto Dance Theatre with over 10 years of experience. Her next production is called Go Light, an interdisciplinary contemporary dance work by A Horse of Air Productions. So, over to you, Carolyn. Thanks, Catelyn. Was any of that true? <laughs> yes. Great. I'm glad that. So, tell me about Go Light. What's the dance about, and, and where did it come from? Why are you bringing it to us? Um, the title, Go Light, comes from a Gary Snyder poem called For the Children. And the original inspiration for the work um, was just looking at different roles we play in caretaking um, from different perspectives and how we might navigate someone else's life when we're still trying to figure our own way out, our own way through things. And, it's, and caretaking is sort of a stronger aspect of it? For sure, yeah. That's really interesting. Um, so a lot of the movement came from um, collaboration with the dancers and a lot of discussing different ideas on those themes. And it just grew from there. Sounds really interesting. And you have, there's two nights where it's going to be performed. Yeah. And is that at the Victoria Event Center? No, that's at no. the Metro Theatre. At the Metro Theatre. Excellent. Oh, Friday and Saturday, August 12th and 13th. August 12th and 13th. Yeah. Good. And there's uh, three, da three dancers and three live musicians. What is that like working with live musicians? Do you use the same music essentially and just or is it improvised how does that work um what we're doing is not improvised um but probably the music will be different both nights so there's certain times where the music is going to be the same and there's certain times where it's fairly flexible with with what they are playing so that's totally exciting for us that it's not the same and um they're great musicians so who are they can you tell us about them yeah, there's three of them, and they've called themselves the Avant Guardians, and um, Alphonse Fear, Frenane Bouchal, and Aaron Watson, and they make a great team. I like the Avant Guardians. It ties in with the caretaking. It's yeah. really nice. Um, so just to talk a bit about contemporary dance, because it's not... I mean, you choreograph it, but I mean it's going to be different to some extent each night. How does that work with all the dancers and with musicians? The, dan the dance is choreographed and that's not different each okay. night. So that's a set thing. Really? Okay, that's interesting that the music could be different and that they're two separate elements. Yeah, we've been working, um, we've been creating all of the choreography in the studio and a lot of times the musicians are not there so they've come into the process a lot later so um, it's just such a treat now that we have them <laughs> makes it more inspiring to move to for sure and with the movements that you i mean is there a repertoire of movements or are you creating collaborating to do different um motions and I'm finding the words difficult because it just seems like so much is possible with the human body. So where do you, how, where do you go with that? Um, for me, I just start at a place of, I just take an idea or an inspiration and I just see where my body goes with it. And um, I think part of the exciting part of the process for me is also seeing where the dancers go with it and then meshing those together, where I'm coming from, where they're coming from, and what we're all bringing to it. And I think the movement evolves out of that. And yeah. And it must be different every time with different people. Um, who are the dancers that are coming and where, what do they bring? Um, I'm dancing in it, Leah Wicks is dancing in it, and Johanna Del Gleish. And they're both fantastic dancers. So, yeah. All from Victoria? 
Um, Johanna has just moved to Victoria temporarily and is leaving again, so I just caught her in the midst of coming and going. Lucky. And Leah Wicks lives here and has done a lot of work in the local dance scene here. Great. I was actually going to ask about the dance communities in Victoria. What kinds of things are you involved in and what other dance communities are there? Um, well, it's, it's a little bit small because Victoria is not a huge city, but um, I'm involved in something called the Tripod Collective, which does some improv work as well as some set work. And I've participated a lot in Bounce, which is a cabaret style dance show done here at the event center. And basically just when a project comes up, I do it dance. if I can, yeah. That's amazing. Um, with dance, is it something that you always knew that you wanted to do or is it something that you have as well as other passions or is it like your one and only um, focus? Yeah. Um, I actually started out um, thinking I was going to pursue theater and changed. <laughs> I, I think I just needed to move my body, so I went in that direction and, you know, life goes on, you have kids, you do other things too, and a dance is always there for me, it's always a passion. And, and Victoria supports it, that's really cool. Um, so let's hear again where and when we can see Go Light, and then tell us what you're going to do for us and, and who's going to join you, if that's all right. Yes, um, you can see Go Light at the Metro Theatre um, this Friday, August 12th, and Saturday, August 13th at 8 o'clock. Tickets are $20 at the door. Um, please come. And don't be late. <laughs> and don't be late. And um, right now I'm going to show you a little bit of an improv dance um, that I'm going to do with Oliver Swain. Awesome. Thanks yeah. so much for being here. Thanks for we'll having me. We'll just transition me. you onto the stage then. Okay.